depending on the amount of phone calls you plan on taking and also the codec you'll be using will determine how much bandwidth you actually need. In this nugget, we go over how to calculate that number to ensure you have plenty of bandwidth to meet the requirements or the needs of your company. So sometimes we have to determine how much bandwidth does each call consume. And often I would see this value and wonder how did they get there? So let's figure it out. So the equation is bytes per sample is equal to sample size times coded bandwidth divided by eight. So of our sample size, we'll take G711, this example is 160. So there's your 160. We don't know our sample size as of yet, but we know that the bit rate is, or the bandwidth is 64 kilobits. We divide by eight because there's the 64,000 is in bits and there's eight bits in one byte. So we multiply each side of the equation by eight. So this is where we get 1280. Then we divide each side by 64,000. And what we get is 0 0.02, which is really 20 milliseconds. So based on our calculation here, 20 milliseconds of G711 will produce 160 bytes of data. So let's carry over our 160 bytes of data. Then since we are using Ethernet as a data link layer, we add 18 bytes there. This should give you 178. And then the network and transport layer will always equal 40 bytes. So 178 and 40 will give you 218. So now we've taken our voice payload, we've added the overhead of data link and the network layer, and now we're at 218. Now you could have additional overhead if you are using any tunneling protocols. Also, if you're doing MPLS, which is a protocol for transporting traffic, or if you're doing IPsec, which is a set of protocols for encrypting traffic. So again, keep this in mind based on your environment, depending on what you're actually using in your network. But for this example, we'll just assume that we're not using any of this. So we know at this point we have 218 bytes of data, which includes the voice payload and also the overhead. So the equation is total bandwidth is equal to packet size times packets per second. How do we determine packets per second? We know that 218 is from 20 milliseconds or a sample of 20 milliseconds. So a thousand milliseconds is equal to one second. So we divide 1000 by 20 and that's where we get our 50 packets. So 50 times our 218 is going to give us 10,900, and that's bytes per second. So we have to multiply by 8 to get the bits, which is 87,200. Then we take this value and we multiply it by 1,000, and this will give us 87.2 kilobits per second, which is the value that you see here. So now we know for G711, every call will cost us 87.2 kilobits of bandwidth. Now Cisco has good documentation when it comes to the bandwidth consumption of a voice call. So this is definitely a good read, but they actually break it down here. And you'll see here all the different types of codecs, and there's more than we had discussed, but you can see them here. And also they go over the terms here in great detail. So definitely a good read when time permits. In this nugget, we discuss how to calculate bandwidth for each concurrent call. You usually will meet with someone on the network side and use this information and have a discussion on how much total bandwidth is needed for your voice environment. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.